Welcome back to another edition of Tuesday Training with Coach Corn. that's Corn with a K, here where we're talking about Monday Morning Choices with David Cottrell, and we've been covering a chapter each week, and this chapter I'm really excited about. Now, I've got to tell you, there's a lot of material to cover in this chapter, and it's a lot of personal experience that I've gone through. This, this chapter really hits home. encourage you as we go through this chapter, as we go through the book here, to look back at the chapter titles, and if you're struggling with one of these choices each week, pull the book out, go back through that chapter again, and reread that chapter. So, first thing we've got here is the do something choice. Don't vacation on Sunday Isles. Three frogs sitting on a lily pad. One decides to jump off. How many are left on the pad? If you answer three, you're correct because deciding to jump off or deciding to do something and actually doing it are two different things. You see, intentions do not count. Writing a book is a perfect example. Most great books are great intentions, but they never get written. So how do you leave Vacation Isle? Get going and do something. How many times have you decided to do something and not follow through? You know, for many of us, this is just a routine choice. But never be content with status quo. In fact, in the book, Brian Tracy had told David Cottrell about a little story about the only difference between a rut and a grave is the depth. And the first thing you need to do when you get into a rut, or first thing most people do when they get into a rut, is they quit digging. So intending to get out of the rut doesn't count at all. Do something to get out and move forward. In our book club, we had a great, somebody brought up a great comment that action leads to action. Write those down and paste them up on your board. Action leads to action. In the Do Something chapter, they talk about, David talks about, one of the things is to read every day. The principal reason for this book, when David wrote it, was to get us into the habit of reading every day, making Monday your day to make a choice to do something different. In the book, David Cottrell talks about a, a, a quote and right here on my bookshelf was another book, The Treasury of Quotes by Jim Rohn. And he talks about, is it coincidence that a bigger house has a bigger library? Well, both of those quotes are in this book, and it's not coincidence that a bigger home has a bigger library. And then David was talking about Charlie Tremendous Jones, a buddy of his, who said, you are today what you're going to be in five years, except for the people that you meet today and the books you read. When, when he looked at a lot of the top executives, read probably about 10 books a month. After the last formal year of education, most people won't read 10 books in their entire lifetime. So where do you start? Start anywhere. Jump on the internet right now today. Search out some books about your industry, about what you do. You know, David also did a study. He hired lots of college graduates, and he studied the ones that were successful and the ones that didn't make it. And what he found is that the ones that didn't make it pretty much felt like they had learned everything that they needed to learn while they were in college. The ones who were successful continued to get better every single day, even late into their careers. They always worked to do things better and, and more efficient. You know, people basically come in about three different categories. The ones that make things happen, the ones that watch things happen, and the ones that wonder what happened. Which one of those do you fit in? You know, successful people always take action to make things happen. So don't get swept up by the day-to-day -day life activities that come along and, and struggles that come along to pull you off path. Always stay focused on what your, what your goal is and getting better. Winners keep winning. And in the book, they talked about another story about President's Awards. You always see the same people winning the same top awards every single year. You know, David noticed that about 80% of the people that went on these President's trips or the cruises or whatever were always the same people. But was it because they were lucky 
You know, because a lot of these people, they've switched territories. They've done, they, the, the difference is the top winners who keep, you know, getting these awards always get better at their job. Even when they're at the top of their game, they're continually getting better at what they're doing. That's why it's 80% of the same people. They've all switched territories. They've all taken over bad stores and, and turned things around. As Michael Gerber talks about in his e about if you're not growing, if you're not changing, your business is dying. So just think about that, too. No matter how successful you are, continue to get better. So I know we're covering a lot of material very quick, so i got to wrap up this chapter because YouTube, we only got 10 minutes. Do something to clearly communicate. So one of the best things about being successful is being able to get your point across. How do you get your point across? How do you communicate clearly? Read books. They will teach you how to communicate. It will teach you vocabulary that will help you um, get your point across. Another thing about the do something choice is it takes courage. You know, all of us are afraid of failure. All of us are afraid of something, um, giving something a try, looking like a fool, that kind of stuff. The thing about the do something choice is when you choose to get better and you choose to move forward and choose to take action, your confidence will build and you will start to eliminate that, that little bit of fear that you have. But you always got to keep moving forward. Don't give up too soon. This is the biggest mistake I see so many people make. They try something, and just before they're going to be successful at it, just right around the bend is a success, and they give up, and they say, oh, that didn't work. But it's just around the corner. And here's one of the things that I've learned through, through my personal experiences is if it's not working and you've given it plenty of time and it's not working, but somebody else has made it successful before, there's got to be a different way to do it. So don't give up. Just think of a different way to do it. And the last two points in this chapter, the last three points in this chapter, do something to look successful. He talks about in the book about dressing for success. How are you dressed? And here, here's where I challenge you on the whole dress successful thing is, are you where you want to be? Are you as successful as you want to be? If you're not, look at the way you're dressed. How are you presenting yourself? How do you feel about yourself? If your confidence level is high, then maybe you don't need to dress like a million bucks. But if your confidence level and your position is low or you're not as successful as you want to be, you know what? Try it. How's your current method working? Try something different. Dress like a million bucks and see, see what happens. I'll try versus consider it done. Here's another huge thing about learning or that I've learned personally and dealt with in my business is whenever somebody says or in your job, has, your, has anybody above you ever asked you to do something, you say, well, I'll try to do that or, you know, I, I don't know if that can be done or it's just not working right or whatever. In fact, instead, take on the attitude like, you know what, consider it done. Let's figure out a way to beat the system. In fact, I enjoy my job because every time somebody tells me it can't be done, to me that's a game like I can beat this. I'm going to figure out a way to beat this. So I hope you will make the choice to beat the system. Figure out a way to get it done. And the last thing they have on here is pay attention, the choice to pay attention. Are you happy with the way things are now or do you want to do something about it? If you're not happy with where you are in your life, in your position, in your job, in your family, then make a choice to make it something different. Do something different today. And so the last thing I'll close you with are the three things that you can do to uh, make the do something choice. The first one is spend more time on action and less time thinking about what to do. Number two is successful or study the successful people. Study what they're doing. And remember what I said, if something doesn't work and you're trying it, try it a little different way. And then number three, keep learning. Read every day. Pull the book out and look over the chapters and reread them again. Let us know what you think at Coach Corn at sbcglobal.net. And anytime you want some reference materials, visit our website at www.coachcorn.com. Hope you had a great Tuesday morning training, and I'll see you next week.